Biological Pest Control Biological pest control is the use of living organisms to control pests. It involves using natural predators of pests, pest parasites, or pathogens to manage pest populations. Predatory insects used in biological control. Ladybugs. Target pests are aphids. Scale insects. White flies and mites. Both adult ladybugs and their larvae feed on soft bodied pests, consuming large numbers of them throughout their lifespan. Lacewings. Target pests include aphids, caterpillars, mealybugs, thrips, white flies, and mites. Lacewing larvae, known as aphid lions, are voracious predators that actively hunt and consume pests. Praying mantises. Target pests are various insects, including flies, beetles, caterpillars, and grasshoppers. Praying mantises are generalist predators that use their raptorial front legs to capture and consume a wide range of prey. Hoverflies. Target pests include aphids, scale insects, and thrips. Mechanism. Hoverfly larvae feed on soft-bodied pests, particularly aphids, while adults contribute to pollination. Predatory beetles. Target pests include aphids, caterpillars, and slugs. Ground beetles and rove beetles are active hunters preying on pests on the soil surface and within manure and other plant remains. The beetles live in moist habitats and are often beneficial to agriculture because they will eat crop pests. Adults are attracted to incandescent and fluorescent lights and as a result, inadvertently come into contact with humans. Heavy rains, sometimes brought on by El Nino events, provide the conditions for the Nairobi fly to thrive. Parasitic wasps. Targeted pests are caterpillars, aphids, white flies, and scale insects. Parasitic wasps lay their eggs inside or on their host, with the developing larvae consuming the host from within, eventually killing it. Birds in biological control. Birds can be used in biological control by preying on various insect pests, rodents, and other birds. Barn owls. Commonly targeted pests are rodents, such as rats and mice. Barn owls are nocturnal predators that hunt rodents, significantly reducing their populations in agricultural fields. Purple martens. Purple martens are aerial insectivores that catch and eat insects while in flight, helping to control pest populations. Target pests are flying insects, such as mosquitoes, flies, and beetles chickens and ducks. Target pests include insects, weeds, and small rodents. Free-range chickens and ducks can be used to control pests in gardens and small farms by foraging on insects and weeds. Attracting birds for biological control. To attract and maintain bird populations for pest control, consider the following practices. Provide nesting sites. Install birdhouses, nest boxes, and perches to encourage birds to settle in your area. Create a bird-friendly habitat. Plant native vegetation, shrubs, and trees that provide food, shelter, and nesting materials for birds. Water sources. Provide fresh water through bird baths, ponds, or other water features. Reduce chemical use. Minimize the use of pesticides and herbicides to create a safer environment for birds. Feeders and food. Supplement natural food sources with bird feeders, especially during times when natural food is scarce. Domestic cats and dogs. Dogs control rodents, primates, and other large animal pests like raccoons, opossums, and even deer. 
Dogs control pests by hunting and scaring. Some breeds, especially terriers, are skilled at hunting and digging out rodents and other pests. Dogs can also act as a deterrent by their presence, barking, and territorial behavior, which scares away many pests. Sniffing out pests. Dogs have an excellent sense of smell and can locate rodent nests or burrows. Benefits. Versatile control. Dogs can manage a variety of pests, from small rodents to larger intruders. Deterrence. Their presence can discourage pests from entering the area. Considerations when using dogs for biological control. Training. Dogs may need training to effectively hunt specific pests without causing damage to property. Untrained or poorly managed dogs might dig up gardens or disturb other beneficial wildlife. Cats. Cats control insects and rodents, such as moles, rats, and mice. Benefits. Rodent control. By reducing rodent populations, cats help prevent the spread of diseases and protect stored food and crops. Cats provide a chemical-free method of pest control. Considerations. Non-target effects. Cats may also hunt birds and other wildlife, which can negatively impact local ecosystems. Disease transmission. Cats can carry diseases that may affect humans and other animals. Best practices for using domestic cats and dogs in pest control. Ensure dogs are trained to target specific pests and avoid damaging property or hunting non-target wildlife. Health management by regular veterinary checkups, vaccinations, and treatments for parasites to keep pets healthy and prevent disease transmission. Supervision. Monitor pets to ensure they are not negatively impacting the local ecosystem, especially in areas where vulnerable wildlife species are present. Balanced diet, provide a balanced diet to pets to ensure they are not solely relying on hunting for their nutritional needs. Arachnids for biological pest control. Spiders. Target pests are insects such as aphids, caterpillars, beetles, flies, mosquitoes, and moths. Many spiders actively hunt their prey, using their speed and agility to capture pests. Web-building spiders create webs to trap flying and crawling insects. Predatory mites. Predatory mites target pests such as spider mites, thrips, and white flies. The beneficial mites actively seek out and feed on agricultural pest mites and their eggs. Nematodes for biological pest control. Nematodes are microscopic roundworms that are primarily used to control soil-dwelling insect pests at their larval or pupal stages. Nematodes infect pest insects by entering their body cavities through natural openings, such as mouth or anus. Common targets include or grubs such as Japanese beetle larvae. Advantages of using nematodes. Environmentally friendly. Nematodes are a natural form of pest control and do not harm beneficial insects, plants, or animals. Target specific, they specifically target and kill pest insects, reducing collateral damage to non-target species. Safe for humans and pets, beneficial nematodes pose no threat to humans, pets, or wildlife. Ease of application, nematodes can be applied using standard irrigation or spraying equipment.